This is from the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Her name is Tiffany Henyard. Uh, and she got into a bit of a scandal. She's maybe been using some tax dollars for things she shouldn't have. And listen to her explanation of kind of why she did it and how we should all treat her. An Illinois mayor is getting national attention for the way that she's spending taxpayer dollars. Now, critics say you can't turn your head in the Chicago suburb of Dalton without seeing the name of Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Oh, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the case of Tiffany Henyard? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. She like, she, in a, she, she like a rapper. She hopping out the whip with security like Drake. What, you, you a public servant. What you doing? Wait till y'all see what the money she spent. So the Superman Tiffany A. Henyard has recently gone viral for some new stuff. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we're back with another video about Tiffany A. Hinyard. We've done about five or six videos about this lunatic mayor from Dalton, Illinois. And I mean, she is a lunatic. Now, for all my loyal views, you can fast forward to the new stuff. And for those of you who do not know who this woman is, stay tuned because we're about to explain to you why this person is straight Crazy. Now, for context, Tiffany A. Hinyard is the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, a town of about 20,000 people. The amount of people in Dalton is about the amount of people who watch an NBA game, 20,000. So the entire village of Dalton can fit in the arena that Chicago Bulls plays in. Now, Tiffany A. Henry is also the supervisor of Thornton Township. Now, Thornton Township is a community of villages and towns that have all come together and created an umbrella government. So she is the chief executive officer of that. It's known as Thornton Township. And combined with her mayor's salary, she makes about $300,000 a year. Now, interestingly enough, five years before she became the mayor of Dalton and the supervisor of Thornton Township, she was arrested for breaking into cars in Chicago with a $1,500 bond. So Tiffany A. Henry in five years went from inmate to the most powerful woman in the town of Dalton. So now that you have a little background on Tiffany A. Henry, this is where stuff gets crazy. So just like any other politician, you know, you tell people, hey, you should pay your taxes, you pay your taxes. But this is how Tiffany A. Henry tells the citizens of Dalton to pay their taxes. And I'm looking for that Rihanna. That's what I'm looking for. This is what they told me to tell y'all right here. Every single resident. Pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. And then that is like the beginning of it. See, she's been having like a war with the city council. So you would think, you know, arguing over politics is one thing. But Tiffany A. Henyard says, hey, you know what I'm just gonna do? Lock them out and not allow them to vote. The mayor locking the trustees out of Village Hall tonight, forcing them to have a meeting out in the parking lot, all of which has Dalton residents shaking their heads in disbelief. Then she gave a child sex offender a badge and told him to go into people's homes. 46-year-old Lavelle Redman is close friends with Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who in September hired Redman as a code enforcement officer without the village board's approval. Redmond served 25 years in prison for the brutal gang rape and beating of two young teenage girls in the 1990s. And we haven't even talked about her spending all that taxpayer money in Las Vegas. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Actually, yes. <laughs> Mayor Henyard and other top officials traveled to Sin City in May to attend a shopping center conference. It's unclear if it helped Dalton land any deals. The credit card records do shed some light on tax dollars spent at several restaurants near the Strip, including Cafe Hollywood and Hot and Juicy Crawfish. They show township taxpayers also spent money on the Vegas trip on everything from steak dinners to hotels and $3,741 just on Henyard's round-trip flight. Then, in a shocking move, the President of the United States invited Tiffany A. Henyard to the White House. 
I am in the wild. <laughs> Tiffany Henyard has a taste for travel. There she is front and center at the White House at a meeting for mayors this month. Now things are going so bad for the two governments that Tiffany Hinyard runs. It is almost a disaster. For instance, in Thornton Township, the place where she's a supervisor, they now have a $5 million budget deficit, but they recently took out a loan, so it's not as big as a problem. They are paying back that loan, but they are in the whole $5 million because of her crazy spending. And then in the village of Dalton, where she's the mayor, they're in the whole $7 million. Remember, this is only a town of 22,000 people. $7 million in the hole. The one comment on the financials, and I don't know how I'm uh, neglected to do this. When we talk about the deficit, last fiscal year through May, the deficit was $2.5 million in our operating account. This year through the report we got, which was September 30th, I pulled that up as you were speaking. So from May through September, there was an additional $4.2 million of deficit. So you couple those two together, the deficit is growing and it's approaching seven million. So with deficits everywhere, what is the mayor going to do, right? She's, she's gonna lose re-election. So she said, well, let me do this. Let me get a million dollars of the taxpayer money and give it away on Facebook. Now suburbs are scratching their heads tonight after Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard promised a million dollar giveaway, which turned out to be public funds. Henyard posted a message on her personal Facebook page earlier this week asking people to tune in to a live Facebook broadcast last evening for an announcement that she said could change their lives. A million dollar giveaway in honor of Black History Month. Now, the most shocking thing about this whole Tiffany A. Henyard thing is that she was elected by 82% of the vote, which is insane. Now, Tiffany Henyard is so incompetent that the bank is now about to repossess the village's police cars. More financial turmoil in South Suburban Dalton after a bank says the village failed to make a massive payment. Yeah, the threat now, tow trucks could be arriving soon to repossess some village vehicles. In yet another shock to Village of Dalton trustees, a letter falling on their desks dated February 14th. Representatives from Kansas State Bank threatening to repossess 13 village vehicles, saying more than $76,000 is overdue and climbing. Village of Dalton trustees going head to head with Hengard at meetings, calling for transparency so residents know where taxpayer dollars are going. We need receipts to understand What's going on? They're in charge of overseeing finances, but say the mayor has restricted them from access to those, leaving them mostly in the dark. On top of that, several trustees telling WGN Thursday they're now hearing from vendors that say they were hired for work and never paid. More expenses the board was not aware of. This woman has no idea what she's doing. And on top of that, I think she is a diversity hire. She's someone who's totally incompetent, but because she had the right skin tone, she was given a pass. And now that pass has turned into multi-million dollar budget deficits, money being spent, who knows how, and all of these unintended consequences. When someone hires you because you're black and not because you know what the hell you're doing, whenever anyone criticizes you, you really know why they hired you. So the criticism is not because you're doing a bad job, it's because you're black. And that's what Tiffany A. Hinyard is going viral for right now. She is complaining that the black people who are supposed to be supervising her as mayor are criticizing her. And she now is pulling the I'm black card. Because if you criticize me, you're criticizing a black woman in power because you really are a racist. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black, y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. All the stuff that y'all did to get people to come to our community, to just diss and down our community. Shame on y'all. So you got that? Because she's a black woman in power, she's supposed to be above any type of criticism. Listen, she's literally giving away a million dollars of taxpayer money, right? It's, it's, it's a total sham the whole thing that she's doing is a sham and she knows it and she knows that not you can't fool everyone all the time 
now from the attorney general's office investigating her to the FBI allegedly investigating her to all these other things that she has going on. It is a lesson, I think, for those black citizens who voted her in with 82% of the vote. You voted as someone because they were a black woman and you wanted to get that first check mark, the first, the first, the first. And now you have to suffer with that. I don't feel sorry for any of these citizens in Dalton. Don't get me wrong, I understand the trustees, you know, trying to do the right thing, but I don't feel sorry for any of them. Because trustee house, the guy you see here now fighting against her, well, guess what? He was one of those people saying that, hey, he supports Tiffany Henyard becoming mayor. Hi, I am trustee Jason House for the village of Dalton and I'm here to give my support and endorsement for trustee Tiffany Henyard, who is a Democratic nominee for the mayor in the village of Dalton. Tiffany has been an active trustee and the advocate for the people for the past eight years and has championed the term the people's trustee because of her activities that she's done with the residents for the village of Dalton. So everybody, please join me by punching one for Tiffany Henyard on April 6th to be your next mayor in the village of Dalton. So as always, it's a wait and see with Tiffany Henyard. You know, it's funny because as you saw, it's what? 2021 was the last election. So we're coming up on an election cycle. Um, I wonder if she is going to be voted in again. Do you think Tiffany Hinyard's going to be reelected to the mayor of Dalton? If she is, then obviously the people deserve what they get. So with that said, let me know how you feel in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, do all the great YouTube stuff. My name is Nathan Laurie, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.